Hello, and welcome once again to Miami 7 Memories. The place where we talk everything Miami 7. I am Paul Lewis. And I'm Alfie Wise. Otherwise known as Marvin Bellotti. And Howard Bellotti. From the iconic series Miami 7. And why are we doing this? We're bored, I guess. <laughs> no. Okay, our first question is from Julio E. Elgade P. Hello, Julio. Hi, Julio. Julio wants to know, who was the owner of the car and where is it nowadays? Ooh. You know, I, I don't really know, even though it was my car. Uh, there are companies uh, in UK and in America that specialize in leasing and renting classic cars, hot cars, racing cars to the movie industry, and I'm sure... That's probably where we got the car, and I'll bet you anything, it's probably appearing in a show to this day, some 15 years later. That's right. You know, actually, interesting story, uh, Paul, I believe, may have been the only member of S-Club who had a driver's license at the time. <laughs> oh, so, all seven? Yeah, so he, yeah. Was, he was the designated driver well, of that car. Well, they were young. Yeah. They were 16. Well, even what though, is the drink, we're driving age in England? Oh, is good question. I have no idea. You guys would know yeah, that. Yeah, sure. Know. There were scenes where different members of S-Club were driving the car, but interesting enough, uh, they weren't really driving. The car was propped on top of a trailer. Yes. And they were making like they were driving. But Paul had to relearn how to drive so that he can get used to driving on the right side of the street. Oh, absolutely, because it's on the left in That's the right. UK, That's I right. think. So, yeah. good question, Julio. Thank you. Thank you, Julio. <laughs> hey, our next question is from Henry T. Hey, Henry. Hi, Hen. Henry wants to know, was Miami 7 the first time you worked there? So I guess Henry means in Florida in or Miami. In, in Miami. Yeah, in Miami. probably. Well, you know, the show, where was it filmed? Well, it wasn't filmed in Miami. Of oh. course, it was called Miami because nobody's going to recognize uh, S Club 7 in Lauderdale by the sea. We were actually shooting it a half hour north yeah. from Miami in a place called Fort Lauderdale. So, um, but it was supposed to be Miami, obviously. And one of the reasons for that, uh, we, we had to shoot several scenes, particularly in the beginning, to establish the fact that we were in Miami. So a couple days, we did go down and try to shoot on South Beach. The problem in Miami when you're doing uh, filming is, or any big city, people are curious and... As a result, they get a little excited, and as we're shooting and talking and everybody's saying, quiet, please, they beep their horn as they're going by, or they yell a shout-out to Howard or Marvin or the kids. Right. Well, and probably the kids. The they were a lot better looking than us. <laughs> yeah, they were. Time. And plus, you know, it was a great backdrop for the show. I mean, oh, come gosh. on, beautiful girls in bikinis and good-looking guys, you know, and, you know, beautiful weather. Now, that wasn't the first time you worked in Florida. Or oh, Miami, gosh, right? no, no. I had done a lot of theater here, and uh, Burt Reynolds, who I had done a lot of films with, had a theater here, and I had done a lot of plays. Mm -hmm. But then we also did a, a, a very very uh, good series called B.L. Striker. We did that about eight years uh, previous. It was we, back in 1806. Yeah, yeah. And we actually did two-hour movies of the week, and we did, uh, I think, six a year. Yes, sir. This car was made to order to fit me. Hell of a job. I live 84 miles north of Miami, so I never really left uh, and I had been show. living in Miami yeah, you were when Miami I got the, the job, um, but I'm originally from New York City. So I, and I did a lot of theater in New York City, but when I moved down here, I, surprisingly enough, I did a lot of theater here as well because theater is pretty popular. Right? And you also understand the climate difference. Oh yeah, you? absolutely. <laughs> Where are you happiest, Paul? You know what? I love the culture of New York, but I sure love the weather in Miami. Oh man, it's easy does it. Yeah. Easy does it. Well, very good question, Henry. Thank you. Thank you, Henry. All right, the next question is from Claire Chloe Jones, and she wants to know, well, first of all, hello, Claire. Hello, Claire. <laughs> and Claire wants to know, which S-Clubber did you get along with the most? Oh, wow. Ooh. Well, they were all terrific kids yeah. and, and very open. But I, I really, I, I identified with Joan. God bless her. She came in there. You would have thought she had done 50 movies before the day she arrived on the set. She was just, she had spunk and she was committed to that show. The way she was on the show was the way she was Absolutely. in real life. She was very spunky, very gutsy. She was the one who was most likely to say what everybody else is thinking. Absolutely. You know? <laughs> Absolutely. You know? And she was great. She was a lot of fun. She was terrific. They all were. They, they really were. And of course, of the guys, Paul. Uh, Paul seemed to be... Uh, 
the, the, he was very interested in the process yeah. of acting. The, yeah. the the marks and the lines and the angles. He he was. And I remember him actually going to a lot of the tech people, the camera guys, and he was, oh, yeah. very, he was always inquisitive about that side of the business. So. I related to them in that here they are, you know, so far from home, their family, their friends, thrown into a hotel room and filming a, a series that would ultimately was going to be very, very important in their career. And they, they just never missed a beat. They, That's right. They were there. Now, I could tell you the one that I, to this day, still get along with and still stay in contact with is Bradley. Oh, yeah. Bradley, Bradley and I, we're, we're long-distance friends. He sends me messages every now and then. I send him messages. I've heard from everybody since uh, we finished our last episode over the years, but Bradley's the one who's been consistent. He's always been very supportive over my career, and he's always saying very nice things about my family, my wife and daughter, and he's 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 a really good friend. Well, I always guy. felt bad that we, the, 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 the two characters from America weren't from England and when the series ended normally you can have a little bit of contact but they went immediately back to Great Britain that's right and we were here in America and it, it made it difficult to have any kind of uh, well ongoing relationship you know, face to face well their careers completely took off as soon as they left oh, yeah. here I mean it was just a roller coaster ride for them so and I couldn't be happier for them Absolutely. they deserved every bit Absolutely. of the success they had and thank you fans yeah. and thank you Claire for that great question yes Hey, thank you so much for your questions here at Miami 7 Memories. It, it brings back a lot of memories to me, and they're wonderful memories. Please like us on our new fan page on Facebook. It's the Miami 7 fan page. The link is in the description. And follow us on Twitter and Instagram and all that fun stuff. And uh, please, if you don't, um, our mother will be very, very mad at us. Marvin. Sorry, Howard. <sighs>